Welcome to Little Arrow Soaps. <sighs> Oof, it's a busy week. So much going on as we get ready for convention. We had a party, I guess you could call it, this weekend with some of our wonderfully helpful friends. And we packed over 400 soaps and over 100 bath bombs. And probably, I don't know, we didn't even count the bath bombs. We got tired after counting the soap. Sugar scrubs and salts and all sorts of goodies. So we're about 75 to 80% ready for the convention. So we're gonna do today another round of Pokeballs, a couple more uh, D20s, because I wanna have at least a full set and I don't currently. We're a solid 90% ready. Yeah, maybe. Maybe more like 90%. We gotta, once we paint the stuff that's the last of the stuff on the rack, then I will agree we are 90%. Also, we never labeled the chemical X bombs after they made them. So we have to do that. But anyway, we will probably be making a list later today, which we will be revising every single day between now and convention. Whether or not we do all the things on the list is a different story, but hey, lists are important. Yeah, I gotta package the cupcakes too. Yes, we need to package the cupcakes. I need to make a listing for the cupcakes or descriptions. <gasps> I still haven't done descriptions of anything. Okay of anything is being dramatic. I, just, I have some existing descriptions and I have other descriptions because obviously we've done them before. Yeah, in that post-convention haze, we can make descriptions and stuff. Eh. All right, so what dice am I going to put in this? I'm gonna do a red one, so I will do the red one. And then I'm also going to do a blue one. Which blue one? Swirly blue and red or glittery blue? What do you think? Swirly red. And then I only have one yellow. It's yellow and purple. I like it. And then we should do a, a white one. Which one should we do for white? What? I have two swirlies, two glitters. Oh, nope, there's another swirly. Three swirlies, two glitters, two clears. Nope, another swirly. So, should we go swirly, glitter? Or no, swirly, glitter, clear, or plain. We don't need a full poll. There's not everybody here yet. I will take first comment. Always glitter. All right. Between the two, I like the blue glitter better. So that's what we're going to do. So there's our four for today. Oh, and then we've got the dragons. can't completely exclude the plane. So I'll do, well, the dragon eggs are gonna be blue, so I'll do that blue one. And then swirly green. Eh, just one. So that's five. That'll bring me up to a dozen, I think. Maybe a little more. Hi. Oh, too high? That's okay. I'm watching fish again. Most of the time I will be watching fish. They are very entertaining. All right, so these are gonna hang out here. Let's make our first one. Start off with white. Yeah, those didn't get labeled. They got made though, which is also helpful. That's all of the Chemical X bomb bottles that we have left, unless I place another order. Ooh, okay. We went through a hundred bottles. 
Nice. Yeah. Uh, yellow, blue, green, glitter. I packed this one tight enough. We'll find out in a second. Let's do one that's all red. Red swirly boy. soap that has an excess of glitter and smells like strawberry banana smoothie. Hmm. Could be fun. Okay, done with this guy for right now. Let's make some classic Pokeballs. So, we've got our box or our bucket of Pokemon. We've got our powders. Gonna get things moving. Let's see, who are we getting today? We got a... Oh, it's Venusaur. It's kind of hard to see. It's not fully painted. There's his little face and his little plant. That's an ivy sword? Oh, that's the middle one then. Oops. Yeah, there he is. for joining us we're getting close to convention season just days away we 
burn and taps. Not quite enough weight in there, but that'll work. A little more. Oh, we've gotten this one before. I don't remember what it is. Ugh, itchy nose. Um, it's a little pink with scary eyes. Look at those eyes. I'm gonna come get you. Little gumball creature, some form. Nice smooth bottoms tonight. I'll take it. Anything going well, I appreciate. a little off but he's so cute this little firebird I was talking with a friend recently about Pokemon snap which I might still get and she was saying that one of the torchics that she took photos of um, actually was like picking fruit and then lighting it on fire and eating it and that's just adorable his birds definitely need to be more chaotic than they already are piece of red down in the bottom. Um, let's see. This is a green bird dog. It's got like a beak and it looks almost leafy, but it's four-legged. So, I'm not sure who this is. We're getting some new ones tonight, I think. bath bombs that I want to do but we're going to space them out for other conventions because some of the things I may not be able to remake every time so we'll kind of have some differences at different conventions. Hi Graham, out of the kitchen. Take your toy, leave out of the kitchen. 
if we leave our toys in the kitchen, that's an excuse to go in the kitchen whenever we want, right? Silly boys. starting to see wear and tear from all the tapping on these edges but I mean that's two and a half years these have been holding up really well um not really any fun ones yet some new guys but no one I knew weird green bird dog creature dog with a beak Hello, Quicksilver. All right, we have a zebra with lightning hair. Are oh, you too squishy? You're too squishy. Never mind. No zebra with lightning hair. Too squishy. This is the the slow king. King poke, slow poke king. Yeah. Slow King, yes, indeed. But yeah, dog with a beak. It had like pointy mouth. So I didn't make as much red powder this time because I have quite a few uh, red pokeballs already and we're trying to branch out. So I figured I'd do the other ones a little bit more this time. So there's a few extra. So after we get some of these done, then we'll make um, the other ones, the uh, blue and yellow. Whopper, Whopper, it's Whopper. I don't care. The internet has ruined it. Double triple whopper is it's so funny. It's such a good uh, use of the terrible Burger King commercial. <laughs> that is a good who's that Pokemon. Squishmallows just released their next uh, collection of 
Pokemon Squishmallows. And there are Snorlax and Togepi. And they're both so cute. I just wish they made the Snorlax in the giant size uh, instead of the like standard 16 to 18 inch. I want him in a 24 inch so that he's huge. Would Dwayne be a rock type? Indeed, he would be the rock that all of the rest are typed after. No, I already have a slow poke. Ooh! Uh, the, the sea slug. Sulky. Something like that. I like this one. He's cute. Right on in there, sir. And I think this might be the last red. Three, four, five, six. Maybe one more after this. Probably not. Nope, I'll get one more. And then we'll color the rest. Shallows! Shallows is so cute. Most ocean invertebrates are interesting to me, though. I like them. They're such alien little creatures. hamster ones that are pink for female and blue for or purple for male. Peter in, yeah. They're kind of bunny-like. Little chaos bunnies, just like our little chaos bunny. Query came up with him, Taro. <laughs> Thorny bunny hamster. <laughs> Ah, oh, 
Ah, perfect. All right, let me grab a paper towel and rub all this down. I never even saw Hemtaro. I don't think anyone actually watched Hemtaro. I think we all just heard the hamster dance song and uh, hated it. <laughs> or loved it, or hated it at first and found out that everybody else hated it and we loved it just to start getting on people's nerves. And then like the hamster dance was on like Dance Difference Revolution machines too. So anytime you went to an arcade, you'd hear it. It was everywhere. All encompassing. All right, next round. Let's, let's put some yellow in here. We'll have more than three ultra balls. Yep. This should give us a couple. Squishy one. So supposedly there are some math error in the original games that made the great ball statistically better than the ultra balls. Just heard this. Anyone else know anything about it? I, I have recently heard this as well. We have the cute little squirrel with the spiky tail. Spiky tail squirrel creature. some uh, TikTok the other day. How do we keep forgetting this one? I don't know, but it does keep coming up a lot. <laughs> it's patchy. How do we keep forgetting this one? <laughs> but this, this guy was talking on... Uh, on TikTok about um, Pokemon from his generation. And I'll be fair, I did not look closely at him to determine his age, 
And he starts talking about how in our generation, we had Pokemon that were based off of real things. Now these kids these days all have Pokemon based off of concepts. And then he starts bringing up pictures. He's like, we had Pokemon based off of ice cream and coffins and things like that. And I'm like, wait a second. That's not the original 151. Those are later Pokemon. This man is a child. And now he's complaining about further generations. So, it is not just you original 151 purists that are outraged that they keep making Pokemon. Everyone is, apparently. Oh, hey, look! A Caterpie! Don't get many of these. Speaking of the originals. Unlike the originals, what? Oh yeah, the originals you get a lot of Caterpie. First in red was a Rattata, but I think not far after that it was a Pidgey. Come on, there we go. Pidgey was definitely pretty high up on the list there. And then there was those couple couple years there in the late 2000 2010s uh, where the male hairstyle of choice was the Pidgeotto look. <laughs> uh, little Robin. Little Robin bird. Cute little bird. Oh yeah, and Weedle. Is that a Spiro? I don't think so. No, it's it's a robin. It's got like a red red headed bird. Fletchling. Yeah, that's it. Hey, hey, don't go out there, Grim. He went out there. <coughs> so, all of the running, the boys have uh, created a gap under the fence from pounding down the dirt, and now they are starting to nip at each other's toes. And they still seem to be playing, but we're one bite away from a bite. And so I got some stuff to block off their little space. Because we don't want that happening. We were watching them the other day and they were, uh, Grim was playing with his ball and then went over to the fence to run, accidentally kicked his ball under the fence. And then as they were running back and forth along the fence, they kicked it back. I'm like, hmm, that's a pretty big gap. A snoot can fit under there if a ball can fit under there. We don't want to, in case we are ever not in the mood, we don't want somebody getting angry. Ooh, Vaporeon. Yes. 
So yeah, as soon as those little fence things come in, <laughs> as soon as those little fence, fence bits come in, we'll block that up so that no one's hopping over here. I love Vaporeon. I love Vaporeon too. I like most of the evolutions. I think uh, Leafeon is a kind of a lazy name, uh, but her design's gorgeous. All right, we gotta do some rearranging. So yeah, two, four, six, eight regular Pokeballs. And so far, four Ultra Balls, I guess these are? I don't know. I'll take your word for it. What would you have called it? I don't know. I can't think of a better idea for Leafeon. But I still think it's silly and lazy. It's their job to come up with the names, not mine. Hi, how'd that go for you? Yeah? No. Out of the kitchen. Yeah, grab your other toy you had. <laughs> really? Walking through the kitchen does not count as leaving the kitchen. <laughs> Speaking of lazy and cheater ways to do things. Ooh, Chlorion, that's a cool name. That would be cool. Um, Electric Bird, is this Zapdos? Hello, Lady L. Yes, Zapdos. And stability chip, yep, it's pretty firm. So it shouldn't be an issue. Ugh, itchy nose. decal in the mail so excited we'll have a pick in the discord once it's on the car yes indeed we will we have to get the car cleaned first so that it's nice and clean and it'll stick really good i think so wait zapdos is one of the legendaries right I think it's the only legendary, if it is, uh, that is safe to go in the bath bombs because the other ones are all squishy. It's one of the three legendary birds, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, Zapdos. I don't, I don't know the others. What are the other ones? I see a Pikachu. We're gonna add a Pikachu because we should always have Pikachu. So how was your con? Our con is actually this weekend, upcoming uh, Labor Day weekend or Memorial Memorial Day weekend. Moultries. I don't... So I know Articuno we get a lot of and I can't put it in bath bombs because it's too skinny. 
Uh, I don't know about the Moultries. I don't remember what that one looks like. I know my fare was exhausting, but mainly due to me being an introvert. Oh yeah, they always take a lot out of you. I'll buy a few off of you. A few of the legendaries? Because I have, like, <clears throat> show you. I actually have, oh, you know what? I missed it. Nope, that's not him. This is the, the Articuno, but he is far too squishy and collapsible and does not fit in a bath bomb because of it. Moultries. Um, yes, I have that one as well. It also doesn't fit in a bath bomb because it is squishy. So yeah. Zapdos is the only one that's going in. It's weird that all of them are too squishy. Yeah, any kind of event can be very draining. Um, I am an ambivert, so I have a little easier time than a true introvert, but you also kind of get used to it as you go. Nice. Always good to make back your table fee. Were you, Lady L, were you surprised by any of your things being better sellers than other? The wind broke one of my displays. Yeah, they'll do that. Everyone's always like, oh, it's the sun. No, it's the people. No, the wind is your worst enemy when you're doing stuff. There's an orange pig with a diaper on. Yes. Getting low. Oh, I was gonna do a thing out of this. I've done two. I'll do a half and half with the blue. Yeah, ten weights are the best. Um, I'm not as familiar with the water ones. We have the plate disc ones. I like them because they interlock around the leg. But yeah, they help a lot. Pignant. Hmm. Each bag weighs 22 pounds. We've seen all sorts of different ones. No, I don't want to put you in a bath bomb. I want somebody everybody knows. Um, this is one of the the hypnotizing ones, isn't it? It's an electric one, Electabuzz. With a little elephant trunk. I thought so. The Electabuzz is more like a cat with with the uh, tiger stripes. That are lightning bolts. Thank you. 
The one lady behind me used dry wood for tent lights. Wow. That's not okay. <laughs> That, that's definitely not going to work out for her in the long run. Come on. There we go. I've seen some people do like elaborate rope systems and tie their whole tent down to like a cooler in one corner. And it just seems like so much extra work to me than actually using something designed to do the thing you want it to do. But that's just me, I guess. I understand not wanting to invest money into it if you don't think you're going to keep doing markets, but you need tent weights. Even if you're just using it in the backyard, I'd recommend tent weights. They make such a difference. like I didn't know I needed weights um, yeah most uh, most good markets will ask you for weights and some of them will even give uh, also anchor everything into a single point it's just not enough no it's not <laughs> yeah most markets will tell you you need weights um, some of the ones that we've been to will even tell you exactly how much weight they want you to have per leg I don't always agree with their assessment. Sometimes we use more, sometimes we use less, sometimes they're being silly. But, I don't know. Start there. Mixy. 20 pounds per leg. And our tent has stood steady, and I'd say uh, 20 mile an hour winds, definitely, maybe even a little bit higher in gusting, but yeah. All right. Blue. Oh. Oh. All right, last round. If it's left over. Zubat. But I'm smart it's not blue. Yeah, Houston can get gusty. Gall bat. Sorry, not Zubat. Zubat's the little one.
Wish I'd gotten a wider angle. Yeah, you'll get better at photographing your setup and stuff like that. It comes with time. That's one of my soft ones. Well, this is one of the creepy people looking ones with like weird head and dress. And this one related to like that rose one. I don't know. I find the slightly humanoid ones very creepy. There's more in the rush. Because getting set up took the longest. It always does. It always does. You gotta make sure everything's laid out nicely and everyone can see everything and you actually have everything out. Yep. You can kind of get it down to a science in the end. Like I'd say we've got our setup down to about 30 minutes or so. My one sign broke on me. I need to remake it. Get all those learning things. All the things you can't predict. This is the frog with the stick in his mouth. The really tall eyes. Oh yeah, we've seen people people's tents go sailing across the market just like that. In fact, one of them almost went out into traffic one time. That wasn't good. Tenor really likes that one. I feel like Tenor sometimes will like pick a gif and if you're even like remotely related to that, uh, they'll play it again. digital arms that like doesn't he like turn into a catamaran or something I don't remember that actually fits hopefully he felt fine we shall see in the demolding if he kills the bomb or not can't do a bomb inside of a bomb. What do you mean, Lady O? Try to explain yourself because there are ways you can kind of do that. Bye-bye. 
common one. And that lasts for quite a bit. Huh. I don't know. Now I'm getting lower on white. I will have some extra blue. So that's good. Oh, don't squish those. I see one that I want. I see a Charizard. Don't get too many of those. I'm going to make sure he get gets in there. It's package one. Then make them a semi bigger one around it. So we do have what's called a bombshell bath bomb, which is basically two hollow halves that you can put around something else. And people will oftentimes put like bath chunks, which is just bath bombs broken up into chunks or other stuff inside of it. I tried making it last year or the year before. No, this last year. No, the year before. Yeah. And I got impatient and didn't wait long enough and they all crumbled. And so if I do it again, I know how to do it. But yeah. So yeah, the only way to do it would be the bombshell because then you'd have to open it up in order to get the other bomb out in order to keep them both as bombs. No! Did you die? Nope, it didn't die. It tried to though. Nope, it went back together. <laughs> I can't afford to lose any. Well, it's not too late for it to die. Thanks, Zulu. I appreciate the vote of confidence. This one is Spiro, the sparrow bird, not the sparrow, the spiky bird. The battery is running low. For some reason, this says the battery is running low. It sounds like it got slightly unplugged during our party. Possibly. from the tree oh yeah <laughs> he, he finally gets it connected it still then. says it's running low it's not charging yet it's probably, it probably somewhere in the to, basket i think this just needs to go away be dismissed like my eye Check the basket, make sure everything is still connected. 
I did put stuff on top of it in that basket. Everything's connected. It's connected. It's going well. to a little different place. I don't know. You are the expert. I will let you decide what the thing is. Come on. There. That was definitely it. Okay. It brightened up and made a noise. The power thing ah. All right, that's it for Pokeballs because I do not have enough white to make another base. So that's two, four, six, eight. Why is that one upside down? Oh, I remember that one's upside down. Uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. More than happy with that. Plus two D20s and I'm gonna make a third D20. of the white because there's really not much it'll make a cool little effect blue dye no yes blue dye I hate this mold, but it makes cool bath bombs, so I keep using it. Do it. Loosened? No. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna do at least one or two more bowls. I'm gonna do this. But I believe we are in need of an ad break. And I am in need of a mixing up the next batch of bath bomb powder because I do not trust it to not dry out on me right now. So you tried poking it with a stick. I will poke you with a stick. How about that? Too much powder. Um, yes, so. Zulu, if you would not mind being an absolute gentleman and coming to grab this to put in the dry room, uh, there should be space, in theory. And I'm going to mix up the next batch of bath bomb powder and then we will reconvene here after the ad. Yay, ad time. Okay, break. Oh, 
grab our baking soda. We sold like 40 the whole time last time. And I have 47, so if it's not enough, you'll have to come home and make more. I need a spoon. Where's the clean spoon? Ish spoon. some new layout for our setup and in working on that we decided to move my mixer over here so I can just mix here and then come back however part of that process involves getting new uh, extension cord for this side of the counter which means I don't currently have a plug so, you guys are going to watch Stanley Mix. Alright. This is my good friend Stanley. We have been friends for... Math is failing me. Since I was 16? millennia about 16 years feels like more than that because I'm 33 so 16 years yeah 
So yeah, 17 years. Good boy, Stan Lee. And it's Stan Lee because he is a Stan Lipton. And I am a very clever teenager who is obsessed with comics. Pour in our liquid oil mixture. I do specify liquid oil because there are hard oils and liquid oils in here.
gonna add a bunch of glitter. And mix very slowly. Also dust the outside with this glitter. Scrape down my paddle and everything. A little bit more oil. If you have not seen The Dragon Prince, highly recommend. Probably one of my favorite recent shows. roll out a season tra trailer for season five. They may have, and if they did, I definitely missed it. But I feel like I've heard people talking about it, so maybe, maybe they did. I am happy with this color. With this, we're gonna do a little bit of mix-ins to make it magical. <laughs> Mixing citric acid always gets me. It's a mystical dragon egg, it's gotta be magical. Okay. Put this glitter over here, put this oil over here. Grab my tray. first let's make a d20 and get that misery out of my way Nine. Yeah, that feels fair. Hey, it actually slid off easily this time. Bad. 
I like it. And one more. And then that is it for our D20s for the year. Okay, well, I might do more for more cons if they sell out. Which they sold pretty well last year. So, if so, I will need to get more D20s though. Can retire for this foreseeable future. And I will look into other options because I really don't like it. All right, now we have our dragon egg mold. So part of what I actually want to do. Do I need to talk to Ratsky? Possibly. Just a little mixed in. Kind of give that light confetti look. Ooh, this is a tall one. Yeah, my biggest issue with the bomb is just that the support sleeve is so narrow that it hurts to take off. Because like this one, I'd say is a good three to five millimeters. That one's just two. So no problem, see? Nice and easy. Beautiful. Love the speckliness to it. Looks like the egg. Because the egg is almost like opalescent or opal looking. Opalescent, I guess, would be the right term. Not opal light, but actually like the the opal with the different veins of color going through it. Yes, there's the egg. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Is this a galaxy bath bomb? No, so this is the dragon egg from uh, the Dragon Prince, which kind of has that galaxy look to it. And then it's also gonna get rubbed down with more of my cotton candy glitter. So I'm crushing these just on the top layer so that it doesn't get over mixed in. 
because if it got over mixed then it would just become part of it and it wouldn't be kind of as speckly. Yeah, it was made by the same showrunners as Avatar, and it shows. It's a really good show. They took a couple years off with COVID to uh, make more episodes, and they do a time skip that is one of the better time skips that I've seen. All the flecks and then the glitter, it's gonna look just like it. I'm so happy. See, I did these last because I'm excited about them. Do I have enough in there still? I think I've got enough in there. Might be, might have seen full scenes, but never a full episode. Definitely watch it. Worth every moment. Prince Ezrin is an amazing written child. Um, these are scented with uh, persimmon, apple, and thyme, which is based off of his love for persimmon jelly tarts. And it's just a really good scent in general. But I found it because of him. And Bait! Yes! Bait is the best animal companion ever. I want one. There's the jelly tarts. Still need to try and make those because they look amazing. But it's also a really interesting show in uh in a way, because of the amount of diversity they, they include. They have uh, a same-sex couple of queens. Uh, they have a uh, deaf general. They have multiple interracial couples, even a couple interspecies, like between uh, minor races and humanoids. And it's, just, it's really interesting. It's not something you see too often in fantasy stuff where they're including uh, differently abled people. And frankly, the general is one of the coolest characters in the whole show. She's a super badass. And her assistant is hilarious. <laughs> forget her name. I forget her name too, but she's the Aunt Amaya. I mean, that's going to be a... I would try General Amaya because I'm pretty sure that's a... that's a common name in anime. Apparently. Plus, pay hey, her her due. Yeah, there she is in her armor with her sun elf girlfriend. Though... 
I was a little sad about that. I was really pulling for her and her uh, her squire. Or her lieutenant, I guess he is. I thought they were cute together, but it's a professional relationship, apparently. Is getting dug out tomorrow. Nice. Grim is going to want to go lay in that hole. Uh, we had a tree that died. We had two trees in our front yard because they came with the house and they were obviously competing for resources and I didn't want an oak tree in my front yard because it's definitely in a place that would have caused damage. So as an anniversary gift to ourselves, like three years ago now, um, we bought a magnolia tree for the front yard, which is gorgeous and in bloom right now. And then we moved the two oak trees to the backyard, hoping that the one that was not doing well would recover. Well, the one that wasn't doing well did recover, which was a great thing. However, the one that was doing okay is now dead. 100% dead. Um, they suspect bugs or something. Uh, one of our neighbor's tree who's within like 20 feet of it also completely dead. So there's probably something in the ground over there eating them both. So before it spreads to the other trees in the backyard, which I have a peach tree and the other oak tree, um, we're going to have it dug out so it doesn't cause any more problems. You know, homeowner things. Yeah, there's no saving it. It's dead. super worried about is doing great and doesn't have any signs of the bugs thriving it's got a couple little clingers but we can cut those off at any point so we should cut them off sooner rather than later with the summer coming but yeah making a jawbreaker bath bomb could definitely make a jawbreaker bath bomb um using a white base with all the colors mixed in, kind of tends to make everything look kind of weirdly green, like making a layered inside. Um, I could technically do a layered inside. However, it would kind of be pointless because of the way they foam up. You would not see the change of color um, unless you cut it in half. Um, it would just kind of all mix in the water at once. Usually the best way to get the individualized colors would be more of like to do the embeds like we've been doing so that it kind of comes out all at once or in concentrated little pockets so that it's more noticeable. Cause like these little bits of pink and yellow, they'll come out if it's like a sprit here and there, but will kind of be lost in the overall foam. So, I could experiment with it, but I don't think that it would, like, come out in, like, layers or rows. We do a, a uh, 
cloud bath bomb that shoots out a rainbow and that works because the colors are kind of right next to each other and come out all at once so that they don't mix right away but they do end up mixing in the tub all right this is the end I think it's the right side no up real quick and while they're still kind of damp we're gonna spritz them with some alcohol and dust them with the cotton candy glitter what if we just made a ball with multiple embeds and painted the outer layer but that could work it in theory it totally could work All right, bath bombs, a little rubbing alcohol to make them sticky, and cotton candy glitter. So. Hello! Welcome in! We're making Dragon Prince Dragon Egg Bath Bombs. Ah, big flakies. Rub them in a little bit. Glitter. And of course there's more glitter than this of this glitter mixed in. So as it dissolves, it'll come out. But then this is a water soluble glitter, so it will dissolve in time. It takes a few hours. I take long baths sometimes and I've had the stars, which are thicker than this, uh, start to dissolve on me. Okay, so, I mean, that looks just like the egg. It's so good. I'm gonna let them fully dry before I do the other side, but the alcohol should be enough to get them to stick. And they're gorgeous, I love them so much. Sam struggled a bit today, if I'm being honest, turns out having two big deadlines at once is not great for the brain. No, no indeed it's not. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I have new glitter. New flaky glitter to try out. No, it's sealed. Open. That adds nothing. 
because they're already so shiny. So I'm just going to do one pass. But more glitter. This is irregular flakes. So it catches the light differently. Um, they're holographic irregular flakes. So you get real sparkly holographics. But yeah, so <sighs> with that, guys, we are done with bath bombs for Comic Palooza 2023. I have some painting I need to do, but I am going to do it tomorrow. But I'm also going to do it by myself. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. But we have a convention this weekend. And as an ambivert, someone who is a uh, introvert and extrovert, I can be an extrovert, but I have my days, I need to recharge. So knowing that I have that coming up this weekend, instead of streaming three days this week to just do everything on stream, I'm gonna take tomorrow, just paint in silence while zoning out with probably a bunch of music or a movie. And then we'll be back on Wednesday for our decompress stream before uh, before the convention. We will be joined by Janie Flip and Sue and doing some watercolor painting, which of course I bought the glitter set from one of those people on TikTok that makes uh, really pretty glittery watercolor paints. I got regular ones too, but glittery watercolor paints. They're so pretty. I almost don't want to use them. They look like little gems. But we'll show those off on Wednesday and we'll also show off some of the projects that we're going to be working on uh, going forward. We have some kits that we've never done before to try out new products. We've got some art kits to completely decompress from bath and soaping and some other just randomness in between. Um, I'm going to teach Zulu how to pipe just other stuff like that, you know? But with that, I am done for tonight. Zulu, who do we have out there that needs to be raided out to? Look, are we doing? <sighs> oh, thanks for the follow, Ast. Ash, I guess. Oh, sometimes I can't see because my computer's across the room almost. Good night, midnights. Thanks for hanging out. I will enjoy tomorrow. Sometimes you just need a silent painting and being silly and watching Disney movies kind of night. If anyone wants to watch, join me. I will be watching Frozen 2, but we can watch them separately in our own homes, not talking to each other or acknowledging each other's existence. I think we should say to Art Wobble. Wonderful. I've never seen him stream at night and he has one of the coolest overlay setups I've seen. Well, that sounds great. Hi, thanks for the stream. Nice to come across the soap maker on Twitch. Thank you so much. We have been taking a little bit of a break from soap because I made 400 bars of soap since February <laughs> and they're all for the convention circuit, but we will be resuming soap in a couple weeks. We have to do some of our regular restocks as we well as make our annual um space city bar which we'll go over at a different time but it's a really special bar we can only make it one time a year because it requires us to make a year's worth of so soap before we can do it so we have reached that goal and are ready to do it again so um with that I'm gonna hand you guys all over to Art Wobble and I will see you back Wednesday for some fun. Oh, thanks for enjoying the dragon eggs. Uh, this is the first time using this mold. I've had a lot of fun. We will make these again. Good night, guys.